Hello and welcome to Pendulum, Divining and Dousing with Lyman Holton. Today we're going to have another adventure with our pendulum. Here's what we'll be using today. Get you a nice close up here. Isn't that a beautiful stone? Now, the other night, maybe two nights ago, I had one of the most realistic dreams I've ever had in my life. I was a soldier, yeah, I retired from the military after 22 years, but I have uh, almost every night a dream associated with being in the military. Not necessarily bad, scary stuff, just in the military. I'm always being, think I'm going to be late for something or I have to get someplace, trying to accomplish something. But in this situation, I was in a building. Like I was with a team of people, three or four other people. We were supposed to be guarding this area, but we had a building we could get out of the wind, right? Didn't have a roof over it, but it wasn't raining either. It was in an area where there wasn't much rain. It was an arid area. So what it amounts to is I noticed when I came on duty that there was a lot of hustle and bustle among my other team members. And I asked, what's going on? They said, well, we saw this big flash of light over just above the horizon, two times. And I said, well, I've seen that many times. And they said, you have? I said, yes. And uh, I said, I don't know what it is, but I reported it and nothing ever came of it. So a little later on, we were basically just sitting around, lounging around. And I noticed up in the sky, I said, hey, look at this. And there was this enormous spacecraft. And it had all kinds of little intricate ins and outs of it on the bottom of it. It was a very light color. And it looked like, uh, I don't know, I guess like a 747, three times wider, twice as long, and had wings that were incredibly short. You could kind of tell the front from the back. And... It, was, it just, when I was looking at it, it came and hovered, I would guess, 100 feet above us. And it just stopped. It was silent. And it was up there. I was looking at it, and I, I waved at it. And when I did that, an arm, a mechanical arm, dropped down out of the center of this spacecraft from the bottom side and swoosh right down into the room where we were. And there were three of us actually sitting in the room at that time. No, no, no roof, no ceiling. So we're looking at it and the thing comes up to me. And what it was, was the arm came down and then another smaller arm with a camera lens on the end of it came out of that. And it came right up to me and was looking at me. And it, and I just sat there and looked at it. I didn't, I didn't feel afraid. I didn't do anything strange. I just looked at it, see what it was doing. And it came right up to me and it actually got into the, between my lips. I opened my mouth and it was looking into my mouth. And then I tried to take it and look into my eyes. Cause I was thinking, well, if this alien species wants to know something about us, it probably would be looking in our eyes instead of in my mouth. Well, at that point, it retracted its camera in the arm went way up or, or wait wait it retracted the camera but before the arm went up I saw what looked like a hologram of myself lying with just a sheet over me and on a like a, a cot a gurney suspended in air and it sucked the image of me up into it where that camera had gone into the arm and then the arm went way back up in the aircraft and the aircraft just went away. Well, I looked over at these, this, these, this officer, I guess is what the person was, looking at me and, and I said something comical about it. And the officer kind of chuckled and I was looking at the profile of that officer and I realized that profile was identical to my mother. And then I thought, I must have the same profile as my mother because it looks like me. And then 
uh, it looked more like my mother. And the other person was kind of stretched, half sitting up, half lying back on a cot across from this officer or my mother, and ha ha ha, laughed, chuckled at whatever little joke I made. And I looked at that person, and that was my father. And the dream was over. So I woke up the next morning, and I was wondering, wow, was I, like a lot of stories I've heard, uh, where you're abducted, visited, whatever, by aliens, and you have odd, not, not clear memories of the situation. So I thought, well, it was a dream. I was abducted. Maybe aliens did come and visit me, but they, they made it seem like a dream in my mind. I didn't know. So I didn't tell anybody about this. I haven't mentioned this to anyone except you right now. Well, a day after that, I was still thinking about it. And I ran it through in my mind when I woke up in the morning, really good so I could remember the story. What I thought was, wait a minute, I think this was a dream, just a plain dream, but a very crystal clear one. Because previous to this, for the last week or two, another company has been I guess negotiating with me to have me make an advertisement for them and possibly some training videos also on uh, English as a second language, not as uh, divining or dousing. So anyways, for many years I've been making all these videos and 100% of my own, no advice from anyone, nothing. Well, this is the first time I really dug deep into talking about it with someone else and have them critique my videos and in making this initial video, which is an advertisement for their company, for the videos I will make for them later, I felt very strange about that. Like someone had really, really come in and, and looked at me close. And I think that's what that dream was about. I felt like someone was just looking right down my throat and you know, like they were looking in my soul. And I guess the videos I sent them uh, that I created for them initially, that made me feel like what was going on with that, what I perceived to be a hologram that went up into that spacecraft. That's my perception of it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask the pendulum a question. First, I'm going to ask it, show me yes. There we go. We've got the counterclockwise circle, which is yes for me. Okay, stop. Okay. And show me no. Right away we go into the no. All right, so I'm communicating well through my pendulum to my subconscious, right? Which is where I get my answers. And that subconscious is connected into the connected universe where we have all of our information. At least that's my belief. Now, and then what that does, it works the, uh, call it like an idiomotor to make my hands move. Okay. Well, let's see. What should the question be? The recent dream I had about the spacecraft. Was that dream brought to me because of my feelings about this video I made for another company? Well, it's telling me no. Okay, very interesting. All right, in what I perceived to be a dream the other night about the alien spacecraft, was I actually being in, was I actually in contact with aliens? Or have I been in contact with aliens?
it's telling me yes. Well, I have to admit, that's exactly the opposite of what I thought I would be hearing here. Let's try one other thing. Also, I greatly enjoy using tarot cards. And I have my tarot cards right here. And I always keep a crystal pendulum on top of my tarot cards. So, here's my deck of tarot cards. It's a very common deck you see almost every place. None of the new modern things with special designs. So what I'm going to do here to make this go fast and make sure I'm reading this right is I'm going to grab my little cheat cards for what the cards mean. Okay. And I have them right here. So what I'm going to do, shuffle the cards. This is how I do it. Take out the center, put that on the side, take the cards, spin them around like this, and there, that's one shuffle for me. There are different ways to shuffle. The important thing is that you're doing it the way you believe works for you. Kind of like the pendulum. Okay, second shuffle, okay, third shuffle, all right, there we go there, now we'll spread do a little, uh, real easy, quick spread here, right? But you can't really see this very well. But <laughs> it's here. Okay, now I'm going to randomly pick out a card and turn it over. One card, randomly pick another one. They're face down. I'm picking them and I lay them down. I pick another one. And I lay them down. Okay, so the question I'm asking is the last question I asked the pendulum, which is the dream I recently had about what looked like an alien spacecraft. Was I was that in regards to me being connected to the actual aliens? Were they trying to contact me? Yes or no? Okay, so the cards I have would be cards. Okay, so I've got the first card is what's called the Nine of Swords. And in a yes or no question, that comes up as a no. The next one I have is hmm, the, the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is also a negative card in a yes or no question. And, wow, they're all swords. All right. The Ace of Swords, which is a positive, a yes. So three card draw, two no's equal a total answer of no. So... My tarot cards tell me the opposite of what my pendulum is telling me. Isn't that interesting? All right. Well, I could go on and make more shuffling, more card draws, but I don't want this video to go too long. Now, the next time I pull out the cards, I'll have the camera set up so I can give you a better view of it. All right. So... 
for now, that's it. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you the next time.